Bad days are a part of life. Everyone has them, and when I say everyone, I don't just mean humans. It isn't always easy being a lovable creature. In fact, there are plenty of pitfalls and perils to being so darn cute. Whether they're eating things they shouldn't or making a serious error of judgment, here are some animals who are definitely having a worse day than you. Any pet owner will know that animals can get easily attached to inanimate objects like their favorite toys. And you'll need all the help you can get if it gets lost or broken. Well, get your tissues at the ready for this tragic tale of the goat who broke his favorite trampoline. Yes, you heard that correctly. It all started when a Redditor posted this adorable image of a disgruntled goat gazing up from a miniature trampoline which he broke, presumably thanks to too much vigorous bouncing. Obviously, the very prospect of this goat-seeking trampoline dilemma was enough to stir up a frenzy among fellow netizens who flooded the post with comments about how they could help restore this goat's former happiness. Thankfully, it wasn't long until his owner, Redditor Shelby underscore 73, posted the update we'd all been waiting for. Mr. Goat had acquired a new trampoline and a slide. Oh, look how pleased he is. Who knew that this story of a goat and his broken trampoline would be the thing to warm my cold, dead heart. After hearing about Mr. Goat, I decided to embark on a mission to help provide all the goats in the world with their very own trampolines. Just imagine it. Now you too can make the day of one of these lovable farmyard animals for the low, low cost of hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Plus, you'll receive amazing content in your subscription box every day. It's a no-brainer. Now, let's get back to it. If that touching tale didn't restore your faith in the world, check out Stormy the Horse, owned by at Ellen Rebecca on Twitter, sizing up this delicious apple to eat. But just seconds after Ellen snapped this adorable pic, the unthinkable happened. Stormy dropped her apple. <laughs> the expression on her face says it all. She looks totally devastated. When Ellen uploaded this hilarious two-part story on Twitter, the photos racked up to over 300,000 likes and almost 60,000 retweets. But naturally, people were itching to know what happened next. Thankfully, Ellen posted an update the following day in the form of a new photo of Stormy after she got her apple back. I think we can all agree that her little smirk makes everything seem worth it. Although they don't usually like to admit it, Animals sometimes need a little helping hand from us humans. Just ask this unlucky duck who ended up in quite a predicament after misjudging his landing and getting himself wedged in a fence. Anyone else think he looks like he's waiting in the stocks for disgruntled townspeople to come up and throw tomatoes at him? The goofy bird was thankfully discovered by Redditor Go Ask Alice after she heard her dog going crazy in the backyard. Thankfully, she was able to free the duck and he apparently flew away unharmed if not a little ruffled. Now that's what I call a stuck duck. It's no secret that people love to treat their pets. No matter how many times we're told they shouldn't eat too much human food, there's just something strangely satisfying about watching your beloved animal trying something new. The one curious kitty named Napoleon was in for quite a shock when he decided to try some of his owner's delicious ice cream for the first time. That's right, Napoleon just got a wicked little kitty brain freeze. As he makes that adorable gurgling noise while the ice cream drips down his chin, the expression on his face looks like this unfortunate feline has just seen a whole new world. <laughs> when we eat something super chilly like ice cream, blood vessels in the mouth or throat get cooled rapidly, causing them to dilate and leading to the unpleasant sensation we call brain freeze. And since cats have a very similar neuroanatomy to humans, it's safe to say that their sensory experience is no different. Besides the fact that this probably isn't the nicest experience to bestow upon your unsuspecting Moggy, the fat content in frozen treats could also cause cats to become ill, so it's probably best to steer clear. But once Napoleon had gotten over the initial shock, he dived right back in for some more. It seems like he's following my life motto, ice cream comes first, always. What's the weirdest thing your pet likes to eat? Maybe your dog is addicted to Brussels sprouts or your hamster has a thing for peanut butter. Whatever it may be, I wanna hear about it. So let me know down in those comments below and I might even get back to some of my favorites. 
We all know the dogs can form unbreakable bonds with their owners, which is why it's so hard when we have to leave them behind to go away on vacation. Thankfully, there are plenty of doggy daycare centers to look after our pooches and keep them entertained while we're gone, but some pups find it harder saying goodbye than others. This is Penny. After Penny's owners left her at doggy daycare, they were sent this hilarious photo as part of her first report card to show them how much she was loving it there. Maybe I didn't get the memo, but I don't remember loving it, looking like you're holding back tears with every fiber of your being. Here's an exclusive peek at what's going on inside Penny's head right now. You know, when they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I'm sure the reunion between Penny and her owners after this traumatic experience was sweeter than ever. Some say pets shouldn't be left alone for too long in case they cause too much mischief. But how much trouble could an unattended tortoise get into? Well, just ask this guy. When the owner of this tortoise found him struggling upstairs, it took a moment to piece together the clues of exactly what had happened here. See that brown splodge on his back foot? <laughs> That's his own doo-doo. And judging by the suspicious marks on the rug surrounding him, it's safe to say things played out something like this. The tortoise pooped got the poop, stuck on his own foot, ran around in circles while trying to get it off, and then flipped over until his owner came home and found him that way. And that, my friends, is one seriously crappy day. Most domestic cats should live on a diet of tinned and dried cat food, which will provide them with all the nourishment they need. But some owners can't help but treat them to a bit of human food every now and again. That is, unless your cat happens to gag every single time it even catches a whiff of your grub like this Egyptian Mao. It seems like there's not a single human food in the world that doesn't leave this cat feline queasy. Chinese food? That's a nope. Pizza? Hard pass, bro. How about a nice juicy burger? Definitely not. Sushi? Get out of here. But why can't this kitty hold back his gag-worthy response? Cats have a whopping 65 million smell receptors, so there's a good chance that the smell of the food itself is causing the gagging. Here's a bit of biology for you. A cat's vomeronasal sac, which helps them to process smells, is located at the upper part of the mouth. Cats use their tongue to direct bad smells to the back of their throat, making the gagging sound. There are plenty of other possible causes for feline gagging, including stomach trouble, hairballs, or bacterial infections, but it seems like this furry fella seriously doesn't approve of his owner's diet. He even gags from across the room. Remind me never to cook dinner for this cat. Cats and dogs aren't everyone's idea of the perfect pet. Plenty of people prefer their animals on the smaller side, like hamsters. But don't make the mistake of thinking a smaller pet automatically means less hassle. Picture this, you settle down for a movie with a big bowl of popcorn, but when you reach down for another handful, you find the bowl empty, and there's only one culprit to blame. Mr. Big Cheeks here. Have you ever seen a more guilty looking hamster in your life? Seems like he wolfed down that popcorn in record breaking time but he's certainly bitten off more than he can chew. It may look like he's having a great day right now, but something tells me he won't be feeling so good in the morning. Pigeons don't have a reputation for being the smartest or most lovable animals. The rats of the sky are a plague to most towns and cities where it seems like they just can't help getting in people's way. Take a look at this image, which proves my point perfectly. No, this isn't an artist's impression of a pigeon painstakingly painted on a car window. What actually happened here is that a pigeon flew into the back of someone's car with such immense force that it seems to have left its soul behind. There's no official word on what happened to the bird afterwards, but I wouldn't be surprised to learn that it flew away unharmed. It's important to maintain a good grooming routine for your pets. After all, if you never bathed, you'd be pretty repulsive. As a general rule, you should try to bathe your dog at least once a month, but here's a top tip. Pay special attention to the products you're using, or your beloved canine could end up looking like this. Believe it or not, this poor pooch was turned blue after his owner accidentally reached for the hair dye instead of the doggy shampoo. <laughs> Look at those big innocent eyes. He really has no idea that he's walking around looking like the long lost brother of Clifford the Big Red Dog. 
in case you needed any more reminding that you should look after your dog's appearance, meet Peanut. Peanut is the canine manifestation of a Monday morning. In fact, I'm not even sure Peanut knows what day of the week it is anymore. According to Peanut's owner, his hair grows super fast and due to his age, he doesn't get groomed as often as they'd like, which results in this bedraggled appearance. Don't even think about trying to talk to Peanut about having a bad hair day. Squirrels might be goofy and cute at times, but they're also considered pests in most residential areas and woodlands where their destructive nature can be a real pain in the backside. Case in point, this scheming rodent who decided to try his luck at stealing some grub from a bird feeder in Charlie Oliver's backyard. But little does he know, as he shimmies up the pole with ease, he's about to experience the ride of his life. It seems like the little rodent jumped with just a bit too much conviction as the bird feeder starts whizzing round and round with increasing speed. At this point, it's safe to say he's realized his mistake, but he's determined to hold on for as long as possible. Eventually, the squirrel's little front claws lose their grip and he ends up being mercilessly swung around by his feet until he's flung off the feeder altogether. While watching this hilarious clip, I was half expecting a panel of judges to appear to compliment his form while shouting, TENSE, 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 across the board. I bet this little squirrel couldn't walk straight for days. But at least he won't try to pull a stun like this again. Birds are known for being generally graceful creatures, spreading their wings and taking to the sky with ease. But I'm not sure this feathered fellow got the memo when it comes to the whole graceful thing. Not only has he fallen flat on his face, but he's sitting there all smushed waiting for his owner to correct his grave error while they snap a photo. I bet that's the last time he'll take the stairs instead of, you know, flying. Thanks to the rapid development of communities in rural areas, animals and humans have had to learn how to coexist more than ever before. But occasionally, things don't work out quite so well. Just take a look at this bitterly disappointed squirrel who turned up in someone's front yard only to find his former home had completely vanished. I wonder how long he stood there like that, trying to figure out what on earth had happened. Looks like Mr. Squirrel's upcoming episode of MTV Cribs has been shelved for now. Cats may have a reputation for being lazy and unbothered, but they're also curious. After all, we know the famous saying, curiosity killed the cat. Or is it, curiosity frazzled the cat's whiskers? <laughs> In case you're wondering, no, this isn't a rare breed of cat with naturally curly whiskers. This is just a very stupid cat who was attracted to the stove by the smell of bacon cooking and got a little too close for comfort. And he's not the only moggy to make that mistake. Take a look at this fearless feline who decided to cozy up to the fire for a little extra warmth, only to have her whiskers singed off. It may surprise you to learn that the cat's whiskers are actually just hair called tactile hairs or vibrissi. And just like regular hair, they fall out and grow back on their own. So thankfully, these kitties won't be left with fancy whiskers forever. Dogs can't help but chase things. It's in their nature. In fact, there are many breeds that were specifically designed to flush out small animals like rabbits, gophers, and other rodents. But there's one animal no pup should ever chase. A porcupine. That is, unless they want to end up looking like this poor pooch. While it's true that porcupines are generally reclusive animals, they do remain relatively active all year round, mostly at dusk and dawn. Although the myth that porcupines shoot their quills when threatened has been debunked, their quills will stand up when frightened and can easily detach when touched. That means that porcupines are a real danger to unsuspecting puppers who might come across one of the bizarre spiny animals while on a walk in the woods. Dogs with a face full of spines will need them removed by a professional veterinarian and it can be a painful process. Basically, porcupines plus canine curiosity is a recipe for a total disaster. Our beloved pets can end up taking a trip to the vets for a variety of reasons, and in a number of cases, there's a high chance that they will return with an extra fashion accessory. The dreaded cone of shame. Obviously, cone collars are important after surgical procedures to keep dogs and cats from licking their wounds, but that doesn't mean our beloved pets enjoy wearing them. Just take a look at this miffed off Moggy who looks like he's never been so repulsed by anything in his entire life. You can almost hear him thinking, you have betrayed me, human, and you will pay for it. 
Pups love nothing more than hanging their heads out the window when their owners take them out on a spin in the car. But this poor pooch got more than he bargained for when he decided to try and get some fresh air while speeding down the highway. The poor guy looks like he's facing off against some serious G-force here, but he's determined to stick it out if it's the last thing he does. But why do dogs love the old head out the window move? Besides helping them cool off, it's all to do with scent. Canine's sense of smell is much better than ours, so when they stick their head out the window and get this great pressure of air moving at great speed over them, it's like a sensory overload. Sensory overload definitely sounds like an accurate way to describe what this pupper is going through right now. When it comes down to it, most dogs are just like fluffy big kids. And just like kids, they like to test their owner's patience when it comes to how much mischief they can cause. Picture this, moments after you've collected your sparkling white pooch from the groomers, he runs out into the freshly cut lawn for a good old roll around and comes back looking like this. <laughs> this ashamed pup looks like he's about two seconds away from yelling, Get out of my swamp! I can't even begin to imagine how much scrubbing it took to remove this green hue. Straight back to the groomers for you, sir. Here's another one of those record scratch freeze frame, I bet you're wondering how I got here moments. Seems like this mouse has activated full on Mission Impossible mode. He's either been caught in the act while making his great escape, or he's totally stuck in this shimmying position. Judging by the pleading look in his eyes, I think it's probably the latter. Some animals are adamant that they don't need our help, but when they get themselves into a real sticky situation, there's no choice. So when one homeowner heard her crash on her roof and rushed to the window to see what all the commotion was about, she was tickled to find this trash panda waving back at her. Depending on how you look at it, this raccoon's raised hand is either an effort to style it out with a nothing to see here, people, or he's sending out a clear SOS for rescue. If there's one thing dogs love, besides snoozing and going on walks, it's eating. But there are plenty of foods that they definitely shouldn't eat. Chocolate, onions, grapes, bees. Wait, what? Bees? It seems like this poor pupper didn't get the memo when he got into some sort of altercation with a stinging insect and ended up in the cone of shame. Despite being the most blessed creature to ever walk the earth, dogs sometimes make stupid mistakes. And the biggest regret of all is chasing a miniature flying fluffy ball only to discover that they don't taste as fun as they look. And this adorable little buddy isn't the only one to be betrayed by the oh so fuzzy bee. Just check out the look on this dude's swollen face. You can almost hear him saying, I regret nothing. And what about this tiny tot whose head seems to have doubled in size? Those eyes are totally saying, Mom. I made a boo boo. Seems like man's best friend really needs to learn a thing or two about the difference between a regular sky raisin and a jalapeno sky raisin. Then again, we wouldn't have these adorably hilarious photos to keep us going. Goats have to be some of the most adorable farmyard animals, but prepare yourself for the ultimate cuteness overload that is goats with pool noodles on their horns. But what use do these land dwelling creatures have with a kitty swimming aid, I hear you ask? Well, this is actually a bizarre form of punishment for misbehaving goats. You see, goats tend to headbutt each other when they're annoyed, and their sharp horns have the potential to do some real damage to fellow animals and humans. So the pool noodle is an easy way to teach goats to avoid aggressive behavior, and it looks ridiculously cute too, though the goats may not think so. And if you don't have a pool noodle to hand, why not get inventive with a pair of tennis balls, or a bucket instead? It's safe to say none of these goats are too pleased with their new headgear, but that'll teach them not to get so rowdy. It's hard to imagine a time when cats and dogs weren't domesticated animals. They've gotten so used to their home comforts that they barely know how to act when they're not indoors. But what happens when one of our beloved pets finds themselves locked out of the family home? When one owner let their pooch out in the front yard and forgot about him, they came back to find this. The poor guy looks like he's peering through the letterbox whimpering, Hello, is anybody home? But when this monkey got locked out of her home at night, she had an even cleverer idea to get her owner's attention. Use the newfangled doorbell cam. But considering how apathetic cats are, I wouldn't be surprised if she sat there all, who said I wanted to come in, when her owner finally came and opened the door. <laughs> Which of these unfortunate animals made you giggle the most? If you're not done laughing at others' misfortune quite yet, why not check out this video next? It's about people having a worse day than you. Thanks for watching, guys.